Water is everywhere. The human body is made up of as much as 60% of water. Approximately 70% of the Earth is covered with water. But what is water made up of, and how can we be sure? The chemical formula of water is H2O. In other words, water is made up of hydrogen and oxygen. By sending a current from a battery through the water, we can split the water into its components. This is known as electrolysis. The objective of this lab is to identify the elements that make up water. The materials that you'll need for this lab are a power supply and wires. You'll need some rubber gloves, an electrolysis apparatus. You'll need a beaker filled with water and in this experiment we've added acid, two test tubes, some matches, and wooden splints. Begin with about 600 milliliters of an aqueous solution. Aqueous means that water has been added to the acid, and in this case, we have used H2SO4. This allows the electric current to circulate. Fill each test tube with the same solution. There should be no air in the test tubes. Place your thumb over the test tube and place it upside down in the solution. Okay, the second test tube. Place the electrolysis apparatus in the solution. Place the electrodes under the test tubes. Connect the power supply to the apparatus. Turn on the power supply. Pay attention to which electrode is negative and which is positive. Observe the results. Note that one of the test tubes is filled with twice as much gas. The ratio of gas in the two test tubes is 2 to 1. Turn off your power supply. Remove the test tubes and put stoppers on them. Then we can test the test tubes for gases and see which one they are. Light the wooden splint. Bring the flame close to the unknown gas. If a small explosion is heard, the gas is probably hydrogen. Test two, light the wooden splint. Extinguish it, but keep the tip glowing. Insert the glowing tip into the test tube containing the unknown gas. If the splint glows brighter or ignites, the gas is probably oxygen. What elements make up water? Through electrolysis, we were able to break down water using an electric current. We can conclude that water is made up of two gases, hydrogen and oxygen. Also, we observe that the ratio of these two gases are two parts of hydrogen for one part of oxygen. This is why water's chemical formula is H2O. After conducting this experiment, you should now have a better understanding and knowledge of the structure of water.